A few years ago, I ate some Smarties in one of those little boxes about a month after Halloween. You know how those Halloween candies can get stale and hard? Well, I actually broke a tooth eating some Smarties. That should have been a bit of a wake-up call because I had to spend a lot of money to get that tooth repaired. They had to put a crown on it. What did I do the next year? Sure enough, I observed myself eating Smarties again, thinking, why am I doing this? But I couldn't stop. I was a sugar addict. Being a sugar addict is something I have been my whole life from as early as I can remember. My mother would let us snack on those little tiny boxes of raisins. All of my molars had cavities in them before I was 12 or 13, and I still have those, and now they're needing to be replaced. So I had a lot of sugar, a lot of cavities when I was young. And Halloween was a time when we just overate on so much sugar. I wrote a Facebook post a couple days ago about this, and I'll just read it. How somebody can change. I just realized I went past Halloween and wasn't tempted to have any Halloween candy. That's a 52-year streak broken in the right direction. That's a huge milestone for me as a recovering sugar addict. It was only a few years ago I even broke a tooth and needed to get an expensive crown from eating Smarties from a Halloween treat container a few months later. You know the ones you hold on to to make them last and then they get rock hard? Did that stop me from eating Smarties the next Halloween? No! I was a sugar addict. I didn't think I would ever or could ever change. Learning new information, small daily steps, and habit changes over the last year and a half has been the key to curbing my sugar substance addiction. Celebrating this win, we can change no matter how old we are. You can teach this old dog new tricks. I thought I would just share that in a video. I get inspired to share some of my background and when the inspiration hits, I usually can't stop writing about it because I have so many stories and I also want to share when I make mistakes and then share how I've improved over time and hopefully you can relate to that and to realize this is not a perfect journey. It's not easy to recover from being a sugar addict when it's been half of a century that I've been eating so much sugar. And so I'm giving myself patience, but when I do have a win and I look back and realize I went through Halloween, it was last week, I went through it, I never bought any candy. Now my kids are older, two of them have moved out, so I just have my uh, youngest daughter with me. She's in her 20s. She went to a Halloween party. I didn't go to any Halloween parties, so maybe if I had gone to an actual Halloween party, it might have been more tempting to me. So it's also just this stage in my life but I'm still going to celebrate it when those stages come along. Yes, next year, maybe if I go to a Halloween party and there's Smarties and other chocolate treats. Chocolate is my biggest temptation. If there are those treats, I might have some next year. I'm not sure. But this year, I'm celebrating the win. So just think about that in your own life. If you've been able to have little wins, celebrate them. Enjoy them and be grateful for them. Be grateful how you can look back and see that you've changed over the years or a year if you've just started this recently to learn about your sugar addiction and to realize that we can change no matter how old we are. We can learn new information and we can change our habits and every bit of progress is progress. You can do this. If you like this video, please subscribe and like it and share it with a family member or a friend who might benefit from it. And thanks so much for watching.